Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to record the video of your app reading in an emulator or any device uh, from your Android Studio. So sometimes it may be helpful to or required to uh, record uh, different uh, uh, yeah, the app executing in the device and the reason could be say for example for demonstration purpose or for debugging purpose then you may require this so let me quickly create a project new project for this and record video app and then i click on finish for and wait for the environment to load it may take a while in the meantime, I'll just quickly show you this Android developer page and uh, the steps are pretty clearly given here. So we will be mostly following these steps only. So there are two options uh, basically. Uh, one is to use the uh, uh, logcat uh, to record the video and this could be used to record video on any device. It might not be emulator and uh, it could be like your uh, hard device as well which is associated or connected with Android Studio. Okay, so this can be used and it can be used to create mp4 <coughs> video and which can be used for marketing and debugging. If I scroll down, um, the other option could be only for emulator. Uh, it also gives the option to record the emulator using this extended controls option. So I'll show both one by one. Uh, yeah. Although I'll show both for emulator, but uh, I repeat. The first option can be done for any device, uh, even for your physical testing uh, phone, uh, which is connected to Android Studio for connecting uh, for testing purpose. Perfect. So here uh, it comes my app. So I just uh, do one thing. I'll make a very simple app. So I'm also starting the emulator in parallel. I just close the left hand window. I don't need that. I'll make some. Uh, simple ui which can be seen visually while we change something so say for example i'll keep a few buttons this could be button one probably and then give the constraints so right hand side my emulator is coming but i'll just probably minimize it for timing yeah then I'll make it for L2 one thing I'll put three buttons button two I'm just making this button so that whenever these buttons are clicked, the text in the text view down below, this text view, I'll change something. So stop. So this is just for demonstration purpose. I'm making a uh, making an app where there is some visual change. So it could be anything. It could be uh, some change on the uh, image part and all also. Yeah. So I think our app is almost done so let's show things i'll leave as it is probably or i'll do one thing i'll just make it a little bigger for a bigger and i'll also increase the text size text size from 14 to probably say 24 uh, yeah this one should be fine okay so now if i go back to my java code here i'll click create first the class variable private Text view. Yeah. So uh, next few minutes you can skip those who doesn't want to see uh, how to create a simple app and that will join after probably two or three minutes uh, to see the actual recording part. So I'll just uh, create four methods here for one for each uh, uh, button. So this will uh, set text a star button 
click and probably I'll do one thing I'll just copy this to same control C so the top button one serum control so this I'll just change it to stop stop this could be button one first button button two second button yeah i go back quickly to my layout and i start associating these uh, i think i should remove this uh, this buttons uh, on click attribute to the respective methods over here button start then this will be button one then this is button two then if I button a stop perfect so all my format is associated if I rerun it so then I think my app is complete now I can start focusing on my real objective of showing how to do the recording so let, let the app quickly come up perfect the app has come up so let me start start button and button perfect so yeah there are like four buttons and all those things so i'm just this for demo purpose now let me start the recording part okay so first option is to record using the locker so you can go to windows and then i think you can go to here tools windows inside this uh, menu and then locker you'll see this option here you can also press alt 6 probably a shortcut so when you click that you'll get this kind of window down below you can just ignore whatever it says you may have to enlarge it and then you see this option record screen option here you just click it and it may ask you to set the bitrate and all those things okay so you can click on a start recording and then it will hang over here this particular window on top and you can do different stuff on your uh, this one uh, uh, app you can just stop recording and click on save oh, oops i think uh, i'm not sure i think by mistake i clicked on cancel nevertheless uh, what i'll do is i'll just do one thing i'll record once again by the way i will also show one thing instead of clicking on here you can also record simply by clicking this screen record option record screen option here so i'll do one second very quickly and uh, I'm just pressing different buttons and then I'll stop the recording and for saving it you can choose any path wherever you want to save and just note over here you will not get an option to save it in mp4 you will get an option to save it in the loop web and option so no problem just click ok and it will get saved and it will ask you to even open or show the uh, play so you can do either I'll just show an explorer over here and and go to that particular path over there so i'm going to the path where i kept my recording so this is the place and this is the recording uh perfect so if i can play this in any of the media player so i can see the file has come up and uh, this is the recording of my uh, screen perfect okay so if i close this very quickly and go back to check the other option so this option what I showed right, this option will be uh, applicable for any device uh, you are running uh, to your Android Studio. It could be your emulator or it could be your physical test device. Right now I don't have a physical test device but if you are say for example pairing your device you can use this option. The other option would be to use the extended control. So that's this option. So if you click over here the extended control option will come up. Okay. And over here uh, you will get this record and play and Okay, since I think I did uh, some time back, so it's asking me to record again, otherwise it will give this record option. So just click on this and it will start recording, then I start doing whatever you want to do over here. Just note, it will not record the audio, it will just record the screen share. So this is good for if you have to demonstrate your app to someone. Okay, so I just click randomly so that there is some change. And if I quickly go to you, my... Uh, uh, this one again, so here... I can see the recording has happened. If I can play this, yeah, 
the changes are happening and this also I can save it as a separate file uh, here also they don't give an option of mp4 but I can change it later okay that part also is so first let me save this file mm -hmm. for the file name and path so okay this is fine and here file name I can give from uh, extend control x extended control recording and right now I leave it as webm and then I think this should be fine if I go to my uh, over here so of course one more uh, this has come up which is basically action control this is my new video okay so if I can quickly run this also and I'm pretty sure it will also show some recording which is yeah over here perfect now if required we can just change it to mp4 also that should also be fine both the files if we convert to mp4 just like uh, changing to extension like this mp4 and click yes it will work in mp4 format also again i can just double click and run it this time it opening a vlc player for me because vlc is the default player for my uh, mp4 files so yeah it works fine so if yeah you have to transfer it to some other application and all you want mp4 format you can just simply change the m format to mp4 format so that's all i wanted to show you in this short video that uh, to record the video uh, there are a couple of options either you use extended controls uh, recording option or you can use the option from your uh, log cat uh, option uh, the recording screen even it also gives the option to capture the screenshots so this particular option you can use to take the screenshots from the app and yeah i'm not coming that but it's possible you're missing nothing it's very obvious okay then thank you all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have